What is up, my flops? It's me, Proza Gaming HD. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Proza Gaming HD, also known as the creator of the Flob Army. Now, today we are going to be talking about WWE 2K16: How to Injure Your Opponent. Now, sadly, you can only do this in Universe Mode. You cannot do it in Exhibition, also known as Play Mode. And also. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about this type of topic, but don't really make sense or does not actually show you what to do. So in this video, I'm definitely going to be showing you how to do them and what the stages are and how to do certain stages and how to make a critical injury in WWE 2K16. Now, sadly, I don't know if you can do this in pre-gen, but I'm definitely doing it in next gen so i'm going to sl split and put this video into certain sectors and the sectors will be shown on the screen right now um so if you would like to know certain sectors or would like to see a certain part of the video just look in the description so without further ado let's get to the video so first thing first we're going to be going up against daniel bryant now i'm going to show you the stages of injuries and how they work so as you can see currently right there that is a minor injury so let's have a look so this is the section so this is the injury section so we're going to be talking about these injuries right here so as you can see he has have a duration of one week out of the wwe okay so how do you make an injury you say so first things first as you can see down here you must do damage equal to 280 percent so that is how many moves to make him red and then do the exact same moves again but you can do it the technique that i'm going to show you which is a lot quicker okay so if you want to do a minor injury obviously like i said before you must have 280 percent of the health now if you want a major injury you must have the certain minor injury and you must work on that more to get a major head injury and the same thing happens the same technique that you did for a minor injury you do for a major so from a major injury you can then make a critical injury so for example if you have a minor head injury and you keep targeting the head you will get the major head injury for example if you want a major arms injury and you have a minor legs injury you will obviously get a major legs injury you will not get a minor arms injury because if you want a major arms injury, you must have a minor arms injury. Now, if you want a critical injury, you have to have the certain major injury. And then you keep targeting that limb. And then you'll get a critical injury. Now, one very, very quick way of doing this is by doing a no holds barred match. Okay, so let me go back over this again. So if you want a minor head, a minor injury, you have to do the technique I'm going to show you. And if you want a major injury, you must have the certain minor injury and keep targeting that body part, which will give you a major injury. And if you want a critical, you have to keep targeting the major injury's body part to get a critical injury. So first of all, how do you get an injury to happen? So, first thing first, you want to have a rivalry, and I find that um, the smaller and weaker they are, the easier you can injure him. And so, I don't know, not going for Mark Henry straight up is, to injure Mark Henry is not a good idea, because he's just got way too armor, like, I'm going to put it that way, more armor, because he just won't give up. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be doing a no holds barred and a one-on-one. -on -one. So, he already has... A minor injury so I'm gonna make it into a major injury now there are going to be some moves that you're going to be wanting and I'm going to show you right now so this is going to be the moves section okay so this is the moves section so what you're gonna do is the ability that you might want is ruthless aggression as it does a lot more damage outside the ring now the moves that you're gonna want is if you want to target the hedge you're going to want skull crushing big boot and you want super drop kick okay, so now if you want to do a body injury you're going to want barricade breaker and apron superplex now for the barricade breaker you can only do four times because there's four barricades skull crushing big boot you can do infinite times super drop kick you can only do once and apron superplex you can do infinite times 
So if you want to damage them certainly by doing finishes, you're going to, for example, if you want to target the head, you're going to have to do, you're going to have, obviously, head finishes and signatures. If you want to do the body, you're going to want body signatures and finishes. This will now be the section of how to injure your opponents. So first things first, we're going to real quick go into a hold bar match, and from there, we're going to show you how to give him an injury. Now, since he already has a mi minor head injury, we're going to give him a major head injury. So, I'm going to show you exactly how to injure your opponent. Okay, so just to let you know, this is pre-recorded because Michael Cole's voice is way too fucking loud in this game. Um, so, if you'd like to know how or if your opponent has an injury, there is two ways. You can either end the match and see from there, or you can do the limb targeting. And if you want to know if he has an instant um, minor injury, as soon as you do one move, he will instantly have a yellow on that type of limb, as you can see there. Okay, so now you know that he has a minor injury, because as soon as you attack him, it will instantly turn yellow. So... What next thing that you want to do is to not stop targeting, targeting your opponent. Because if you do stop by any chance, they will recover from it. So you can do submissions. As you can see, he instantly turned orange, which means he definitely has a minor injury. Okay, so first thing first, if you are in an extreme rules or a no holds barn match, obviously one of the best ways is to use a weapon or use the barricades. Because you have that much open momentum that you can just continue destroying your opponent. As you can see, the best would be the kendo stick and the steel chair if you want to target the head. And the hammer if you want to target the body. So now we're going to be talking about a head injury. So if you want to do a head injury, you're going to do one super drop kick at the beginning. And you're going to do 8 to 12 of these shiny boots, also known as a steel boot. Um, to the turnbuckle, and you're going to have to do this 8 to 12 times. For me, I did it 13 times, just to double make sure, and that is definitely how to injure your opponent. Okay, so now you just want to know the process of doing a body injury. So you're going to throw them over to the apron like this, and you're going to be doing the apron superplex. So you're going to do this, obviously, 13, and I usually do it 15 times, just to doubly make sure, but this is how to do a body injury and I'm going to continue on the head injury so I'll be right back okay so now I'm going to go through the process of doing all of the shining boots I'm going to do 13 of them so I will be right back as I do not want to bore you and I don't want to make this video way too long so I will be right back once I've done the shining boots okay so since I'm going to be going to do the 13th boot I'm going to also tell you that the best way is some people usually just go for a pin which doesn't really give them pain so if you do want to definitely make sure that they will get an injury you do a submission that specifies a certain limb that you want to destroy and injure so do a submission because it'll definitely help you okay so another technique is if you want to really damage your opponent just do submissions outside the ring because it really does damage as if they do tap by any perchance, the ref will not see it, which means that it will definitely destroy them, which is a really good way, especially when you have Grenadian Backbreaker. So now I'm going to go through, finish this off, and I'm going to show you that the technique does work. So we'll see it in a minute. Okay, so a good way to end your opponent off is through a super drop kick and then go into a chokehold. Or if you want to go for the back, you should do this move right now. It's called the Accolade, which definitely destroys them and users will not let go. So I'm going to go finish this and we will be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to show you that Dan O'Brien is now in a major injury. Dan O'Brien, major head injury and he also has a cold streak. So now he has a major head injury, but his duration is one week. But since it is SummerSlam, we will still be going up against him. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. And I will be right back to show you that that is how you do a critical injury. So, right now I'm going to go and do the exact same thing that I did in match one. And I will be right back. Okay, so most of you want to know if your opponent has a major injury. 
So what you do is you go over to your opponent and you put the target limbs on and as you can see it's orange so that means that your opponent has a major injury of any body part depending if it's orange. Now you're going to want to put him through the oh my god moment from 9 to 11 times. I'm going to do 13 like usual. Okay, so now I'm currently just choking him out, and at the end, I will definitely show you that it is in a critical state, which is a very good thing. Also, the very last sector will be, obviously, additional injury information. Now, usually, you will come across a cutscene like I'm going to experience. Now, I don't know if that's only because I am in SummerSlam. But if this happens to you when you have a critical injury, that's how you know that you have put him into a critical injury because he will always have this type of cutscene or a cutscene similar to this. So now let's get to the injury. Okay, so as you can see right there, he has a critical injury. So that is how to get your opponent to have a critical injury. So I hope that helped you and I hope that made a lot of sense. And as you can see when the menu pops up, you will see that he has a critical injury. And as you can see right here, it says, Doctors have not cleared Daniel Bryan to complete due to the severity of his injury. Kicking him from the ring, ring until he, was, he is recovered. Now, as we can see, when I go on to have a look at him, he is out for one week, as you can see there. Okay, so the last category is going to be talking about extra injury information. So, first thing is, if you do injure your opponent from a minor or a major or a critical, they will be out for a couple of weeks so they can recover. So you'll be going up against one of their friends, one of their enemies, or any random superstar. Also, if you do critically injure them, they will still be able to play in rivalry matches but not in PPV pay-per-view matches, for example, like WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and all the other ones. They will not be able to compete in Royal Rumbles, which is pretty cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, knock out that like button and subscribe to become a flop today. And I'll see yous in the next episode. Peace off, flops.